going into this game against Atlanta. No, I'm so glad we're really happy that we advanced to MLS final. The group is confident um, with a lot of with a lot of faith that we that we can accomplish something really good on Saturday. So we just starting to prepare for it. What for you are kind of maybe the similarities between the 2015 run and this year, or does it feel pretty different? It's different. I mean, every every year, every championship is different. I mean, it's the it's just, I, I think it's the same feeling that you get once you get to the final, but uh, yeah, it's, it's different. How does it compare to your championship runs in Mexico? Uh, like, like I said, it's different, you know? I mean, different country, different teammates, different league. So it's different, but at the same time, you, you never get used to those feelings. Same question, so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does, but uh, uh, I mean, we have to still work, you know? Uh, it's gonna be a tough match, not an easy match, so. But uh, we think we can accomplish it. What, yep. did, uh, what are some things that the guys that were here in 2015, including yourself, learned from that run that you can take into uh, this MLS Cup final? Um, yeah. The things that you can take is that there's never going to be an easy game, and every time the people put doubt in your head, just don't listen to them, you know, because they always, they're everyone, I don't know, maybe just only in Portland is the people that are always supporting us, but like everyone else in the league is always doubting us, putting us down but uh, I, I guess we, we always come from behind and show them that that we are a pretty good team and uh, I mean we don't uh, we don't get the recognition that we deserve but we always end up putting a statement. The fact that you guys have kind of pulled off those come from behind road victories a couple times this playoffs already how much more confidence does that give you that you'll be able to stick to your game plan on Saturday? Uh, that gave us a lot of confidence because that shows the character of this team that that even on adversity we can come back through it so I think that's I think that what scared some teams yeah, because they know that, that we are a team that that are good on a corner and that if they just get switched off we can punish them. You guys have talked sort of about like the collective underdog uh, label that, the, that you guys have been counted out but a lot of you guys individually have had to fight for everything in your career I mean you you know, came in the league through through a contest and had to fight to become a starter and prove just how good you were. There's other players on the team that have had uh, had to fight adversity to get to this point. How does that, having players like that that have been through that fight, sort of help you build that collective culture and be at a point where you can make uh, a run like this? Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, if you will ask a lot of the guys in here, and I guess every every club, most of the guys come from adversity and. And most of the guys that come from South America, uh, I mean Latin America, where the the opportunities are not as high as in the United States, where I mean you have everything you can have growing up. And those guys, and I probably could say including me, you know, growing up in Mexico too, it's it's tough. So I think you you embrace that more when you start getting in your professional career, and uh, I think that 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 helps a lot. And, and this group is a lot of a lot of guys, a lot of a lot of different countries like you can say so I think that that helps really well and we had made a really good a really good team and a team that has a, a great chemistry. Jorge you mentioned Mexico obviously you made a major decision this summer to come back here does this getting to a final the reward of a final provide any new perspective or vindication on that decision? Uh, yeah I mean to be honest I didn't know that I was gonna come here in December, be fighting for a for a for a cup. But I, I mean, those, those are the things you know. You always come to work and and help the team. But uh, I I would say it's, it's a reward that uh, six months later mm -hmm. I get the opportunity to once again fight for a title. And obviously, the on the field component is only part of considering a move. Um, does that even matter in reference to how it affects your family, how it affects your children? This move from Mexico back to Oregon. Yeah, you know, you always think about that. You know, every move. You think about the the family, but I, I think right now my kids are little still, so they they get adjusted real quick. So they take it as as another move, <laughs> I would say, you know, as another opportunity to build something better, uh, meet new friends, and uh, they 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 love it. They love it here, and uh, they're really happy.